welcome back to my channel. Now today is all about fun foods. Now I realize that food is not supposed to be used as a means of comfort, but to nourish the body and to bring vitality. However, there are times, or even as a vegan or vegetarian, you want foods that taste good, that's quick, that's fun, that's easy to make, and foods that kind of remind you of what you had in your former life. So with that said, we'll be making jalapeno poppers today using fresh jalapeno peppers, which I'll be roasting. And instead of adding cream cheese as you would in traditional jalapeno popper recipes, I'm going to use a very zesty and tangy cheese made out of hemp seed. And to coat it, I'm going to use uh, garbanzo bean flour, but I'm also going to season it because garbanzo bean flour tends to be a little earthy, so I'm gonna put a little onion powder as well as salt and pepper and smoked paprika. We're gonna put all that together and we're gonna come up with a wonderful, fun food for you to try at home. Okay, let's get started. First thing we'll need to do is make a slit in the center of each jalapeno pepper, making sure to keep the stem as well as the entire jalapeno pepper intact. We don't want two separate sections as we're going to need to add the cheese as the filling later. Now, if you want to retain the spiciness in the jalapeno peppers, just keep a few seeds, otherwise remove them all. And now we'll prepare the jalapeno peppers for roasting. We'll simply brush a little grapeseed oil on the skins of the jalapeno peppers, return them to a sheet pan, and sprinkle with sea salt. The objective for this recipe is to blister the jalapeno peppers, but not char them. So now we'll sit them to the side and prepare the cheese recipe. First, we'll take one cup of hemp seed hearts and add them to the Vitamix or your high speed blender. Now you can change out the hemp seed hearts for cashew nuts, macadamia nuts, making sure they're raw, but also making sure you soak them for at least two to three hours prior to making the recipe just so that they're soft and your blender can grind them into a nice creamy cheese. Initially, I wanted to use lime juice for this recipe, which would have worked, but I really wanted the zestiness of the lemons to come out in this vegan cream cheese recipe. So that's what I used, two tablespoons of lemon juice. Next, I added a half a teaspoon of sea salt and just a little bit of water to get the blades going. Now, this recipe will require a little more water as needed, but you don't want the cream cheese recipe to be too thin or liquidy because you want to be able to spoon it in the center of each jalapeno popper. So just add a little bit of water at a time, two tablespoons, turn on your blender, check it, with your spatula, give it a nice stir, and add more water if needed. So now that we have the perfect consistency for the cheese, we'll place it in a bowl. I usually pop it in the freezer for about 15 minutes just to allow it to firm up to make it easier to spoon in the center of the jalapeno peppers. And now we'll make the batter using garbanzo bean flour. Now you can always make your own garbanzo bean flour out of dried garbanzo beans. Just put them in the food processor and allow them to process and separate the grainy parts from the flour. Now that'll take a little time so you can always buy flour in a bag such as Bob Red Mills garbanzo bean flour which is ready to use. Since we're only preparing three jalapeno peppers, we'll only need one half cup of garbanzo bean flour. 
Next, we'll season it with herbs and spices just to take away the earthiness that sometimes comes with garbanzo bean flour. We'll add equal parts, one half teaspoon of sea salt, one half teaspoon of black pepper, one half teaspoon of onion powder, and one half teaspoon of smoked paprika. Next, we'll add a little water, about two tablespoons at a time. Create a nice thick paste, and then you wanna go back and add water as needed. Now you don't want it too thick, and you certainly don't want it too thin. The objective here is to coat the entire jalapeno pepper, making sure you seal the slit so that you don't get leakage from the cheese. Now for the fun part, it's time to fill the cheese. Now the cheese should be nice and solid. Now that it's been in the freezer for about 15 minutes, you wanna take your smallest spoon and take one scoop of cheese and fill the center of the jalapeno peppers, making sure to avoid overfilling because we're gonna go back and seal it with the batter. Do this for each jalapeno pepper. And now we'll prepare our frying pan using grapeseed oil. Make sure when you're selecting grapeseed oil that you're choosing the pure grapeseed oil. There are a lot of oils on the market that's blended with other synthetic oils, so make sure you get the oil in its purest form. I like grapeseed oil or avocado oil to fry with because it can withstand higher cooking temperatures, whereas other oils such as olive oil or coconut oil, it breaks down, it gets too hot, it starts smoking, and it loses a lot of the benefits in the oil. Batter each jalapeno pepper. Now you can use a spoon to coat the jalapeno peppers, you can use your hands, whatever's easier. Just make sure that the entire pepper is coated and that you have completely sealed the slit so that the cheese does not run out. As you batter each pepper, you're going to add them to the hot oil and fry for two and a half to three minutes per side. The objective is to achieve a nice crispy brown coating. Once the poppers have completed the frying process, simply place them on a platter lined with a paper towel to absorb the excess oil. 
and we are done. So would you take a look at that? Nice and golden brown jalapeno poppers. They actually look like mini chili rellenos, but this is my version of jalapeno poppers because we're using no uh, grains uh, or we're, we're not using eggs either. So we had to use a thick batter that would coat the jalapeno peppers, would seal them uh, so that the cheese wouldn't spill out. And it did that beautifully. You can always change out the hemp seed for either cashews or macadamia nuts. Now those are gonna be a little more expensive, but again, you can use those. Just make sure you soak them about two to three hours prior to making this recipe. Uh, unless you have a Vitamix or a high speed, high powered blender that can crush the nuts into a creamy paste or a creamy cheese as we did here. So I'm gonna have this with a little bit of pickle de gallo that I whipped up just a few minutes ago with some cherry tomatoes and with some green onions. I did have a little leftover roasted jalapeno pepper, so I just chopped that up, added to it. And remember the lime juice that I was gonna use in the beginning, but I decided to use the lemon? Well, I took that lime, I used it for the pickle de gallo with a little salt, tossed it, and here you go. So I'm actually gonna try one. Oh my God. It is really good. Look at that. Layers and layers of flavor. The crust is really crunchy. And you have the jalapeno, which is a little spicy because I left a few seeds in there. And then the cheese. Look at that. Mmm. So good. I hope you try it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.